Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create subtitles and turn them on and off using a button. So the idea of turning subtitles on and off with a button is usually down to something like a menu, maybe a pause menu, maybe a game main menu, but I'll show you how to do that after we've created some subtitles. So if we go to game object, go to UI and go to text, we can literally use the text box as the subtitles. So most subtitles usually at the bottom, so let's align it to the bottom. Let's have it white as well. Uh, let's zero out the position. And then if we double click, we can align it into the correct place that we want to see it on the screen. So a bit further up. Now, generally with a subtitles text box, you will need to maybe kind of keep it centered, but also account for extra space along the way. So don't keep it this small all the time. Make sure we have it stretched to, you know, quite a way what you would expect to see the subtitle range. So probably about there and probably expand it down a little as well. Let's change the font size to maybe 20 and for convenience I'll bold it so we can see it as well. And I'm going to delete new text from it and we'll just make sure it is centered. So how do we get the subtitles working? It's all done via C Sharp scripting. So let's right click, create C Sharp script and we'll have this as subs script. Subs obviously being short for subtitles. So we're going to create a sequence of events where a couple of lines of subtitles will display. And at the same time, we'll make a little button script, which allows us to turn them on or turn them off. And it's, it really is as simple as that. So let's start and get rid of void update. We don't need it. We don't need any annotations. And we're going to start creating in an I enumerator. Reason being is because we're going to want to delay uh, between lines of uh, script and code because, because you know you have your line it's displayed for a couple of seconds it disappears then another one comes on disappears another one comes on so let's just call this the sequence so obviously you would incorporate this into your game a little bit differently you'd use this to actually have different subtitle scripts for different characters what they're saying so now let's declare the variable which is the text box so public game object text box semicolon and hopefully you guys have realized because we're using a text box we need to declare it in the namespace using unity engine.ui semicolon so the next thing we'll do is we will have yield return new wait for seconds and we'll wait for a second before we display any subtitles and then what we'll do is text box dot get component in spiky brackets we'll have a text open close bracket dot text equals gosh it looks very dark here i wonder when the sun will rise okay so we'll then display that for let's say three seconds maybe so we'll have yield return new wait for seconds three and obviously you would have your own subtitles here and then after three seconds we would just have it as blank again and then obviously don't forget the semicolons at the end and then after let's say another second we can say same line again so we just, like i say we set in the sequence of events of what our subtitles are going to say looks like it's actually starting to rise so then we'll have this for two seconds maybe or in fact maybe we'll have that as four seconds we'll have this one as three so then after three seconds reset back to blank and then we'll wait for maybe two seconds and then we'll have the text box say once again uh, yes it is getting quite bright now and then after another three seconds we will turn it off once again and to start that coroutine, we obviously need to go to void start, start coroutine, 
and it's called the sequence so oh, close bracket close bracket semicolon and save so what's going to happen here when we attach the script to our scene it will basically display those three lines in the sequence that we've just said which is all good and well so let's see how it pans out so create object empty let's attach the subscript to there and let's attach our text box to there and let's press play and see how our subtitles unfold okay yep looks like it's actually starting to rise yeah which flows quite nicely yes it's getting quite bright now so there we go that's how we can create subtitles real real easily so now let's go that one step further and create a button which can turn them on and off to do that what we'll need to do is firstly go public bool sub uh, deck so this will be our sub declaration or subtitle declaration by default we'll have it as true so by default they are going to appear and public um, game in fact do you know what I honestly don't even think we need to reference the button itself so what we can do is go void update doesn't need to be private and what we need to do is if sub deck equals false so what we're saying here is that if we click the button in fact you know what I think what we do need to do is rather than have this in update we should probably I'm thinking because there's a couple of different ways we can do this I'm trying to think of the best way you know structurally to do this so I'm going to start doing it in void update and then we might switch it to its own separate script uh, its own separate method I should say so if sub deck is equal to false so basically if the subtitles are off then what we need to do is have a text box dot set active true so we turn them on and then set sub deck as true semicolon I put sub deck there <laughs> should be sub deck there we go and obviously we'll do the inverse of that so we can copy that entire if statement place there and if sub deck equals true then turn them off so false and set it as false there and save that script so like I said what you could do is you could have your separate method which we'll actually start writing now so it needs to be public because we're dealing with the button so public void and we'll call it switch subs open close bracket open curly bracket so what you could theoretically do is on this section you could either set it as true or false every time you press the button and then obviously it would change in void update or what we could do is take this right here and just place it within switch subs and now let's try this out so I'm going to save that script and the idea of what's going to happen is when we press the button it's going to say if it's false then we can set it as active if it's not then we set it as inactive so let's head back to unity game object UI button and I'm going to actually add something to the button to make it look a little bit better so I'm going to add a yellow sprite to it and let's change it to say subtitles I'm going to have it on the top uh, should we have top right or top left? Let's have it top right top right zero out and let's bring it into place maybe about there and guys if you don't know how buttons work I do have a tutorial if you have a quick check but generally I'm going to speed through this bit to get the button working but all it really is is a case of clicking add dragging the game object into here which is on the button itself remember so we're clicking add on the on click no function subscript and switch subs and now let's press play so by default the subtitles are on so let's turn them off just like we have done there so we can see no subtitles are now appearing so let's turn them back on I think we've gone too far I think the subtitles have already disappeared so let's try again so we can turn them off and they're not coming back on so let's see why they're not coming back on so we do seem to be able to turn them off so sub deck is false here 
So logically, what we need to do is quickly check our game object to make sure if this is done correctly. So off. Right, so it's obviously not picking it up correctly, is it? So I think one thing we have probably missed out is if we go back to our script and we need to actually exit this method. So we need to type return after we have done the change to true or false. Now the idea of this is because we need to exit out of this sub and that was what was going wrong basically. The fact of false also becomes true then because we're setting true here. So we need to exit out of this method, which can be done like that. So let's put this into practice now. Let's press play. And then once it starts, we can turn subtitles on and off like so. So the last thing we want to do in this tutorial is let's actually make this say subtitles off or subtitles on. So we can do that by, let's actually change what the text says by default and let's put turn subs off. So we need to make that say turn subs on in the event of something changing. So we need to declare that as a game object. So public game object, and we'll have this called uh, button text. So if we're turning it off or turning it on, we'd start with this one right here. So uh, text, sorry, button text dot get component, if I spell it without an I, uh, text open close bracket dot text equals turn subs and then you've got to make sure you get this one right because it can get a little bit confusing when you're dealing with on and off in in this sense so we're turning them on so we need this to now say turn subs off and then copy that line and we can do the same here except it says turn subs on so save that script and then finally, on the game object, we just need to attach the button text when it appears over here in the inspector panel. Drag and drop. And now let's press play. So turn subs off, turn subs on, clicked. And there we go. And that is how we can create subtitles in Unity and also create buttons to turn them on and off if necessary. And usually, like I say, this is in some kind of menu. So you can just incorporate that into any menu you want. Guys, I hope that's helped you, and I hope you actually have subtitles working like this in your game. If you want to see anything else, please comment below, and I'll try and get back to you. So, guys, thank you very much for watching.